somewhere. They really don't make them like they used to. No, booze adverts of the past are hilarious. Yeah. They're so good. You know, how do you sell this liquid that makes you feel really odd so for a very short amount of time and then really bad, really the awful the yeah. next day? I like the unusual flavor of Thunderbird wine. It's an exceptionally good drink for every occasion. Thunderbird has an unusual flavor all its own. Not quite like anything I've ever tasted. James Mason selling bum wine. <laughs> it's 21 seconds long and he uses the word unusual twice. <laughs> unusual has an unusual flavor. You've got a crap product where mm. the best adjective you can come up with is it's unusual. <laughs> Mmm, it's quite unusual. <laughs> I suggest you try it. <laughs> There's not many words I can use to describe this, so drink it yourself and <laughs> yeah, yeah. see what you think. Yeah, you'd be the judge. I love the idea as so well. It's perfect for any occasion. <laughs> Bring out the Thunderbird wine. <laughs> a wedding. A wedding. Thunderbird. A yeah. funeral. Thunderbird. Sunday morning. Thunderbird. Thunderbird. One of the strangest drinks I've ever had <laughs> in my <laughs> life. Basically, yeah. How is it? I've not tasted anything <laughs> like it. <laughs> How much was he paid for uh, for that 20 as seconds? As much Thunderbird as you can fit in the boot <laughs> of his car. It's an exceptionally good drink for every occasion. This is where the party starts. It's Bruce Willis selling you <laughs> a wine cooler. Sitting in a bar swinging for a town When any came and looked me up and down I had my one cooler. Is it me I'm thinking? Of a drink I'm drinking. Don't you know this is where the fun starts? Seagram's one coolers. This is where the fun starts. Seagram's one coolers. Downtown just is looking for the spot. Where the drinks are cool and the music's hot. He's, he's drinking in a very fancy, in a very fancy bar, like swanking in a bar. hotel bar, drinking, I love the uh, wine cooler is lemonade and, and, and cheap wine. Three women come in. Three models. So he decides to buy them drinks, but he won't buy it in the fancy That's place. That's why he's going to go to a cheaper bar. He goes to the cheaper bar. <laughs> And he's skipping. Skipping. They're yeah. skipping down the road. Imagine him doing that advert now. Oh. Pissed off bald man. Yeah. You know. No. Yeah, drinking his Seagrams very quietly in the corner of a yeah. bar, judging. Walking in. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me. And the barber also flips it. <laughs> That's shut up! This is where the fun starts. The Pepsi, if Seagram's wine cooler's Coca-Cola, the Pepsi, when we, we get to um, Sun Country wine coolers, and Sun Country wine cooler wasn't wasn't content with one star to, to sell it, so they paid mm. a fortune. They got a Beetle. They got a Beetle, and not only they got the best Beetle. I've been into classic things all my life. Classic rings, hello. Classic clothing, classic hairdos, classic good looks. Classic news. Being such a class act, I must tell you about Sun Country Classic Wine Cooler. It's new, crystal clear, dry and delicious. Sun Country Classic. Hey, it's classy. Is it classy or classic? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> classic. <laughs> um, and of course, it's it's crystal clear. It's not really it, It's crystal clear. <laughs> See him through it's it. Yellow. Is that Paul behind that drink? I don't know which one it is. Bear's got a big nose, doesn't he? But I love it. If you if you want to sell some country wine cooler, scare some kids with Grace Jones. <laughs> wanna have fun? Well, Grace is all right. Just put some fun into your night. <laughs> It's like the guy from Ghostbusters 2 with the light up yeah. eyes as he goes down that corridor. <laughs> She's stealing a baby and with her wine cooler. It's so Just odd. as a nanny. Yeah. And then uh, they had the, the Richard Mole as well. Boy, do I get tired of tall jokes. How's the weather up there? But I don't get angry anymore. I open a Sun Country wine cooler instead. Next time you hear, could you please move? You're blocking the sun. Open a Sun Country. 
If that doesn't do it, squash them like a grape. I was bullied, but now I drink to get to deal with it. And if that doesn't work, Hit him. It's worth watching all the Sun Country ads just because there are so many silly ones. There's so many silly ones, and this might be the most fun I've the I've ever had. Give me the sun, give me the wine, give me some country wine cooler. Yeah. Give me the fun, give me the wine, give me the real juice cooler. Don't give me heavy, just give me nice. All we want is a taste that's right. Give me real fruit, give me white wine, give me great taste. Give Give me the one. Give me, give me, give me, give me some country wine cooler. The real juice cooler. That little move. That that, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the most. That bear's had the greatest time of his life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I want a wine cooler. I'll talk to you that. That is so much fun. Follow them bursting through that. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> give me real fruit. Give me white wine. Give me. 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 Some country wine cooler, a real juice cooler. Yeah. Next up, uh, we have uh, Sammy Davis Jr. advertising uh, uh, Japanese whiskey, and it's clear they just they've gone like, um, go ahead, and he's just got a <laughs> bottle of whiskey. And basically, what he does is what you do when you get home and you've had too much to drink, but you decide to have another one. I love it, I've done that so often yeah, coming that's, home. Yeah, the actions of a man who Ooh, that back man, the man drinking, 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 Yeah, you do not need another, Sammy. Sammy, yeah. But my <laughs> favourite little things about that is that this is smoking ashtray. <laughs> You know, for a while he was, they were going, you know what you're going to do here, Sammy? <laughs> Give me a minute. I think I got it. Bam, ka -tick, ka -bam, bam, bam. And there's so much noise of ice and clink, clink, clink. But again, he keeps it quite fun. A person who, I mean, a joyless man, if there ever was one, is Sean Connery. Uh, <laughs> That look he gives after he drinks the whiskey of like... <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's a disgust, it's all... If he, were, if he were to speak, you know it'd be like... Shantori has an unusual flavour of the <laughs> If you're gonna sell sherry, which is a hard task to do because sherry is rank, you're not going to buy a bottle of sherry on a whim, it's going to be one of those ones that you just... Like, if you've got a bottle of brandy in the house, you just, you have, you're one of those people. Yeah, they're desperately trying to open it to new markets. And this is the thing, with this one they've gone, we need to change people's attitudes to, to sherry. sherry. <laughs> people are not, and, and, and their trick is to say, let's just tell them to drink more. Drink more of it, yeah, and who should we get to do it? My fellow Americans, I'd like to expose a cruel hoax. For years, the English have been guarding their precious supplies of Harvey's by telling Americans that it is only to be sipped in these silly little glasses. That is a lie. In fact, Harvey's is delicious anyway and any time you serve it. And is consumed eagerly all over England. So if you want more than just a sip of the good life, throw away those silly little glasses. Harvey's, the taste you don't have to sip to enjoy. Look at the size of that drink! <laughs> That's so much sherry. That's, that's seven or eight measures of sherry. That's in half a bottle of sherry. Yeah. With, and who drinks sherry with ice and a wedge of lime? Here's your sherry. Enjoy it. It cost me fourteen pounds that <laughs> drink. Oh, I can't imagine. Yeah, that is. It's. It's so so. Just drink more sherry. Yeah. The taste you don't have to sip to enjoy. You don't want to down sherry either. Huge gulps of sherry. Mm, over ice oh. with a slice of lemon. Christ. 
It's so just. How is it? It's it's sweet, and this lemon hasn't helped. Yeah, and also, if, anyone, if, an, Ameri- if an American is watching this, we do not drink it's, a lot of sherry. We're not guarding our it's sherry. It's consumed eagerly at Christmas, and at no other point it's during It's never the consumed eagerly. Uh, it's <laughs> consumed, sort of grudgy. You've run, yeah, when you've run out of beer and wine and the other spirits, oh, we've got the sherry, I guess. Mm. Desperately trying to change the image of sherry. If there's one environment in which you don't want a sherry, <laughs> it's by the pool in the blazing hot sun. In a Hawaiian shirt, like, oh, you know what I feel like? Margarita, mojito, bit, like, like half a bottle of sherry. I mean, like, <laughs> half a pint of sherry over ice. With it's like you know in Casino Royale where Bond says, "I want a margarita, uh, I want a, a martini." <laughs> yeah. you know? Dry martini. Oui, monsieur. Wait. A bottle of Harvey's <laughs> Bristol, cream. Bristol cream. Pour it over plenty of ice with a slight. I mean, be generous, barman. Be generous. I mean, I want a third of the bottle over ice with a lemon. Yes, sir. You know, I'll have one of those. So will I. Certainly. My friend, bring me one as well. Keep the fruit. The taste you don't have to sip to enjoy. Oh my god! Oh, like, these cars are upside down! <laughs> <laughs> Don't knocking his sherry over the oh. <laughs> I need another one of these. The taste you don't have to sip to enjoy. Leland Carey has a special power that he's only ever showed the Japanese. Oh wow. Um, and if you like your whiskey incredibly watered down, then this is the advert for you. Yeah. So much, uh, it's like a slushy, isn't it? Ah, yeah. Oh, jeez, oh, Leo. Leo de Sapo. That's why he's always got that expression. He's just drunk. <laughs> One <laughs> of his own drinks, yeah. yeah. Of ice. I mean, they're quite fun adverts. I like the ice shattering. Oh, it's a sp- cool. Try it at home. Try to throw a ball of ice into a glass in your hand. It's, it's going to be mostly glass. Going into that. casualty with yeah. just <laughs> Leo did it. All I got was one sip of Jim Beam. <laughs> well, to be fair, a bottle of Jim Beam would last eight, seven years if that's how much Jim Beam you. Yeah. Like, uh, get the ice overflowing, and there we go. It's yeah. filled the glass. How much booze do you want? Do you want a Peter Cook or a Lena Lena Cap? <laughs> Leo can't handle Somewhere in the middle, please. <laughs> Throw away those silly little glasses. What are your favourite booze ever? Yeah, if you've got any, you know, they, these are these are some of our favourite. Because we may have just scratched the surface. These are just things we've enjoyed over the years. The tip of the iceberg. Give me, give me, give me, give me some country wine cooler. The real juice cooler. Yeah. It's an unusual flavour, all its own. Not quite like anything I've ever tasted. I suggest that you try Thunderbird. It's really delightful. 